What's going on guys? Monty uh, V6 here with another video. Um, I know this has been kind of floating around out there a lot lately, but a lot of you may or may not know um, Snapchat for Windows Phone 8 is out. Uh, you just got to find it. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to use it. So, anyways, this will work only for Windows Phone 8 not Windows Phone 7 point whatever um, this will only work for uh, Windows Phone 8 so anyways you open up the App Store and you come to the screen what you want to do is you want to go down the search down at the bottom and then you want to kind of want to type in snapchat at the top there and I just hit enter and you'll come to this screen here and you can see it's going to be a third one down from the top it's going to be the unofficial if you can't see this, then you're not running Windows Phone 8. Okay. Uh, it's got to be like the HTC 8X or the Lumia 920 or anything else that has Windows Phone 8 by default. Okay. So uh, just go ahead and install that, let it run. And um, once you do, go ahead and open up Snapchat. And then here's the sign in screen. You can either, um, if you have an account already, you can use your email address or username and sign in with the password. If not, just create an account. Uh, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward and simple to do. Okay, now once you log in, this is the screen that you're going to see. You're going to see your camera, and you're also going to see your three main buttons down at the bottom. They are sensor for either the front or rear facing camera. And you're going to use capture, which is you know self-explanatory, to capture the image, and snaps. Uh, snaps are the pictures that you receive and uh, send. And you got friends and settings down below. Now, once you click on friends, this is the screen that you're going to be shown. Okay. So you have your best, which is your basically like the people that you use the most and down below that you have recent and then you know after that's just the alphabet letter blocks and then in between that you'll uh, be shown your friends list now at the top here you have to type in their snapchat name and an ad um, otherwise if they request you you won't know about it because it doesn't have notifications yet so the only way for you to add people is you is for you to add them first. Okay, now here is the snap screen. Okay, now this is, now this has changed now because he did an update and um, it looks kind of different, but it's relatively the same. So at the top, you have your snaps. Uh, the first one where it says from is going to be from the person who sent it to you. And see that little gift box with the bow on top? That means you haven't checked it yet. So what you would do is you would tap on it. And then you would hold to view it. Or you would just tap on it again to view it. And once that little gift box will change to a check mark, as you can see, the third one down, to let you know that you looked at it already. And the number 10, that's all the way to the right of that, is the amount of seconds that it's allowed for it to be viewed. Okay. Now with the little arrow pointing upwards with the line on top of it, that's letting you know that you sent one out. Now, if you when you capture an image, here's what's gonna look like. You capture the image and it says tap to add a caption. This is when you tap to add it, whatever you want. Now you can move that black bar to the top or bottom or wherever you'd like. And then once you're done, you can either hit that little pencil icon on the top right to draw on it. And the bottom left hand corner, where that number is, the number three, that's the amount of seconds it's allowed to be viewed. So if you put in three seconds, they're only going to be able to see it for three seconds. And then, once you're done with all that, you're going to hit send. And once you hit send, you have uh, you know, your contacts to send it to. Uh, you, once again, you have your best, the people that you send it to most. Uh, your most recent, and then, you know, so on and so forth with uh, contacts. And then you can do multiple people at once, 
If not, you can just send it to just one person at a time. Here I have selected that there's two people selected at once. And then once you hit send, it's just going to send it to them. So that's uh, basically it, guys. Um, really nothing to it, more to it than that. Um, I know some people are having trouble, uh, a lot of trouble signing in and um, <laughs> just trying using the, the app in general, but I find it really easy. Um, there is a time, though, where you would select your people that you wanted to send it to and hit send, and then it would say network error, unable to send or something like that. Um, just tap the OK button and send it again, and it will send it. So, other than that, um, I don't really have any problems with it. I mean, you have to check manually to see if you have any snaps that are that have come in. And you can do that again by going to the main screen here and going to snaps at the top, right there in the middle. Hit snaps, and it'll come to this screen here to let you know uh, what snaps have come in. And, you know, you can either exit the app or hitting the home button and just kind of leaving it open and hit the back arrow to uh, access it more easier. Um, other than that, don't have any problems with it. Um, I do Snapchat people on Androids and iPhones, so it is cross-platform, obviously. So, and it works with Windows. So if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, uh, go ahead and drop it down below. I'll answer it to the best of my ability and help you guys out. So if you have Windows Phone 8, go ahead and give this guy a shot. It's really fun. I like it. And make sure you uh, give the developer a good comment and rate it pretty well because he's working hard for this. And a lot of people are just giving him, you know, <laughs> bad, um, bad reviews because uh, they don't know how to work it. So I hope this video helps you guys out. And like I said, go ahead and drop some comments down below if you need any help. Go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe this video. And uh, pass it along and help other people out. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one.